What's going on, YouTube? Gmo Nation. And yes, this is gonna be a reaction to Sasha Banks and Bailey becoming the first ever in WWE history women's tag champions. Now, the actual raw and unadulterated reaction, y'all won't see that. That happened last night. And for the sake of my dignity, only a select few people know what it's like, how I act when Sasha Banks actually wins something meaningful. Y'all don't have to see that. Y'all don't have to see me jumping on top of couches like Tom Cruise, picking up Nike shoe boxes and throwing them around my house and screaming at the top of my lungs and just jumping up and down for joy and doing backflips because I am that damn happy that finally, after over a year of being in purgatory, Sasha Banks did something meaningful. Now, for people who are like, oh man, y'all take it too far. No, man, y'all gotta understand what Sasha Banks fans go through, man. Like, ever since they got on the main roster, man, it's always been some bullshit when it comes to all this other stuff, man. When they, I don't know why they did this, but from the begin, from the get-go, they say, oh, well, we need someone to usher in to be the first women's champion for of the new title. And they gave it to Charlotte. You're like, why? And they did that. And it's like, I don't even try to make this about them, but you kind of have to. If you're a Becky fan, you got to look to Charlotte. If you're a Bailey fan, you look to Sasha. If you're a Sasha fan, you look to Charlotte. Charlotte's always been the obstacle who's kind of been there. You know, Sasha's always had this, you know, um, it's Goku, but it's Vegeta, but it's not Goku, but it's not Vegeta. Whereas she's always been so far ahead of everyone else, but she's not kid friendly. Like personality wise, Bailey's the closest thing to Goku. You know, uh, I mean, personality wise, Sasha's more like Vegeta, but in terms of skill and ability, she's always been on her Goku shit. Sasha has always been light years ahead of everybody. And what we saw tonight, the way she captured that title for them, was a pure illustration of that. The way she applied the cross face, because her, 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 she couldn't use both her arms. So what did she do? She used her leg to do it. And people go, well, what do you mean by that? Sasha Banks took a move that people said, oh, well, well, I don't know why everybody do this. I don't know why Daniel Bryan do it. I don't know why Sasha Banks do it. I don't know why everybody doing it because Ben Wyatt always will look the best doing it. He had the most power behind it. It's like true, but Sasha's like, I'm not going to outpower Chris Ben Wyatt, but she has created various styles of doing it. We saw it in this match. We saw it in the Ronda Rousey match. And part of it, some people say, well, it's a bit of the Gargano Ciampa thing, maybe, but it's like, who has the flexibility, does yoga on Mondays and like whatever the hell she doing to be able to take their leg and wrap it around like that to do that? Chris Benoit couldn't do that. I don't think Daniel Ryan has the flexibility to do that. So there you go. You have something that women can do, but man can't do. The average man can't do. I don't know. Exolicious may have something to say about that. But it's just kind of sort of like, that's what we need, man. That was innovative as hell how she did that. And it was just, it was amazing to see, man. When, as I said, when, when Sonya tapped out, it didn't feel real at first. When they rung the bell, it didn't feel real. When they gave him the belts, it didn't feel real. Because you were like, man, they going to pull some bullshit, man. They going to rob my baby girl again. But no, nope. Man, it, it was uh, it was a good moment for any Sasha Banks fan. It would have been even better if she took that damn title from that role player Ronda, and she had both of them. But hey, we'll take what we could get at this point, man. After the entire year of purgatory and all that bullshit they had her doing for a year, you know what? We'll accept this. We will gladly accept this. I am looking forward to seeing uh, who's going to be the next team to rise up and challenge them. It's probably going to be Nia Jackson to me. I know people are cringing because people are tired of seeing Nia Jax. But, I mean, eh, I mean, they got to put Nia Jax at WrestleMania in some way, shape, or form. So, yeah. But that's all I got I'm out, man. It is a good day to... What a time to be alive, man. Sasha Banks is a champion again.